Welcome to our movie of teaching Kimi how to stand on his owner's feet. This is going to be a step-by-step -step introduction, but first we're going to talk about some prerequisites. We need an audience. We need some good shoes. We're also going to need some treats for the dog and an audience. Oh wait, we have that, but we do need a box, a basket, a bucket and some concrete. The first task is to teach Kimi how to stand on a box. It's just to get him used to standing on things. And of course, we reward him okay. once he does that. Once he manages that, we're gonna teach him how to stand on smaller things. In this case, a bucket, which is a lot smaller than the box he was used to standing on in the first place. Once Kimmy manages to stand on the bucket, we're gonna teach him how to stand on these even smaller concrete cylinders. First a larger one, and then a really small one. Next step is to teach Kimi to jump onto the box, which he already knows, but which is in another position. First from the sofa, and once he does that, we move the whole setup into the room and teach him how to jump onto the box from the floor. Again, the next step for him is to jump onto something smaller, and again, we start out easy by letting him jump from the sofa, and once he manages that, we're gonna move the whole setup into the room and let him jump onto the basket from the floor. Yeah, super. Okay. Now we're getting close to the final task. We're gonna let Kimmy jump on the soles of the shoes for the first time from the sofa. Super. Once he manages that, we're gonna let him jump onto the shoe. Oops, okay. That happens, still reward the dog and don't make a fuss about it. Because finally, after a lot of training, he will be able to stand on the soles of his owner's shoes. Thanks for watching. Please rate and comment. We're gonna see you next time.